Here we go again, episode six. Love me long time, Gary, B, Angela, in Phuket. Gary's looking for somebody to make babies for him, for his future passing on his business. We left it that uh, he just arranged money transfer. Oh, let me get you a bit closer in, guys. He just sent B some money. B had gone off home for a couple of days. Angela wanted to celebrate selling the condo to Gary. In those couple of days, Gary spoke to his lawyers a lot and quizzed them about potential earning business investment in Thailand. He's thinking of more condos, renting them out. The fact that the value might go up. And his lawyers and accountants bang all their heads together and work out that it's a great thing because something to do with tax that he can write a lot of tax off so oh, I don't know and they said yeah you can invest say 50 million baht 100 million baht no problem at all um, and if B's going to be the girl on the ground probably best to put her on salary as a full-time manager of said condos uh, get her on board give her a reasonable salary and no problem absolutely no problem he's got millions and billions in the bank it's pocket change he's still not needed back home anyway so B turns back up they go for breakfast they agree they've got to go off and uh, do some signing for the, get the condo finished so he can move in and he says to B about he really is attracted to Angela. What's the score with culture? She's got a boyfriend. How long has this boyfriend been around? Could he sneak in there? Could he get a date with her, etc.? And B says, well, the Thai guy just takes money off her. They haven't been together too long, but she hasn't really had time for boyfriends, so he's just somebody she plays around with. She says Angela is all about money and she hasn't really got time for a boyfriend. Would she be material for him to have kids? She'd probably have kids for him if it was for money. Whether she would be involved as a girlfriend, she said I'm not sure. But you'd have beautiful kids. But B's also in her mind thinking, I really like Gary. And she's now like, she doesn't know what he's about to offer. She's like, she's not the prettiest, remember, but she's lovely, lovely businesswoman. But she doesn't know, as I said, that he's about to offer her a job. So if he offers her a job, she'd be stuck in Thailand. I don't know. These people with all this money, the things they can do with money, it's, it doesn't sit well in me, my head, somebody buying somebody throwing money at them to buy them but I suppose the super rich it's just the way of life for them they get good people around them and they pay for them so ah, this is a love story they have breakfast and Gary doesn't say anything at the moment about the business and ideas they finish breakfast and Gary says to uh, B, no more tuk-tuks, I'm fed up with tuk-tuks. There's taxis here, find me a taxi, let's get a driver, I need someone that we can just run us around. We'll pay him for the day just to sit there and move us around. B's like, okay, I've got a taxi driver I occasionally use, he's alright. He's an elderly Thai guy, he's got an average taxi and it is one of those uh, normal taxis, a taxi meter. And he said, okay, I'll do for now. So, see if he's available now. Get him on the phone. Find out how much he has for it, once for a day. Just to runs around when we want him. She gets on the phone, speaks to him. The guy, taxes can earn quite good money in, in Phuket. So the guy's sort of saying, I'd probably want 3,000 baht a day if I was gonna, each day. Plus any fuel if we go on trips. And that's like, Gary's, yeah, that's fine. 
Is he available now yet? Tell him to come and pick us up. Take us up to the condo, let's get all this paperwork done. Next phone call, 15 minutes, taxi's there. Off they go, up to the sales office. There's Angela. All the paperwork's there. Gary signs it all. Faxes it. Faxes, yeah, still got faxes in Thailand. Faxes it straight across to his lawyers. Jumps on the phone. Video. You got that? Yeah. yeah. What do we need to do? Nothing. We'll fire it back now. Money's already there. They've got everything. Um, just got to get it all in your name, which is paperwork and more signatures further down the line. But we'll sort it. Uh, and we'll let you know. But now you can move in. Phone's down. Is that right, Angela? I can move in now. Yes, you can. Fabulous. It's yours. Okay, he says. I don't want to do the moving. Have you got somebody B that can go and pick all my stuff up? Just go to the other condo, get my stuff. There's only a few suitcases and a couple of little bits I've bought. Get it up here. Let's move in today. She turns to the taxi driver. Let's call the taxi driver P. Turns to P. P, you go to this condo, pick all this stuff up, get this, 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 move it here. Yep, no problem. Gary gives uh, B the keys and says, let's go out for a few hours while he's doing that. And then we can celebrate tonight in the new condo. Says to Angela, how about you girls get a load of Thai food? We bring it to the condo, get some alcohol, and we celebrate in the condo. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a party. Gary, B, Angela. Mmm. Alcohol, food. And Gary also asked for some other food, some bit of farang food as well. He's like, mmm, we can do all this. We can fix all this. B knowing that uh, she's also being measured on how good she does all this. Potentially, and she says to Angela, da, 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 "Let's get this." Da, da, da. And Angela's got a guy on site. She uses as a gopher. Says, yeah, we do all this. We'll say seven o'clock in the new condo, and uh, but you'll be in there before because your stuff will be here in a couple of hours, if if that, if not an hour. And Gary's like, "Yeah, let's go and get wander around, do a bit of shopping." Um, I've got keys now. Yep, yeah, there's loads of keys. Here you go for the condo need some water supplies and all the rest of it no you don't it's got water already purified and all the rest of it oh cool need something need some stuff snacks anything it's a brand new condo it's got all that furniture in it it's the show condo well they haven't got a show condo now he's bought it 15 million baht anyway he said look let's just get this all done i want to get in there get my stuff here let's go for a walk please everything done just like that so him and B cross the beach along the beach a bit and they're just walking along they stop at a like a cafe on the beach restaurant sit down drinking soft drinks and B's like I've never met anyone like you you're mad <laughs> what do you mean by mad said, well you're just like you have so much money you can just flick your fingers and everything gets done it's so strange that type of world you're in compared to the type of world I'm in and as he said yeah he said well talking about worlds and he put a, an offer to her and he said if I gave you a job would you give the shop up and she said yeah I would give the shop up if I was earning more money and I enjoyed the new job what would the job be says to her estate manager what do you mean by estate manager he said well I've talked to my lawyers you've said and they've done some searches these condos are going to go up in value she said yeah I think they will well if we bought a few condos we need someone to look after them arrange the cleaning service in the condos short-term rent long-term rent whatever put it on some websites and look after the condos, manage them for me, manage the money and any other investments I make in Thailand. And she's like, ding, 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 ding. 
Right. Full time job? He said, yeah, it'd be full time. So, I would say full time, he said, it's about 40 hours a week. You would be my PA in Thailand. And work for me. Wherever I am in the world, you'll have contact with my PA in the States and everything will be done. Bank accounts be opened, you'd have access to whatever is needed, credit card, money, you'd have a salary. And possibly said get a nice car because then you can taxi me about, limo me about. And, uh, she's like, huh, two jobs, limo driver and estate manager. And she's like, okay, he wants, uh, wants to give me two jobs. And he's like, yeah, do everything else for me, anything that I want. She knows he's buying her and she's like, okay. So, me give the shopper, work 40 hours a week. At the moment, she works six days or seven days. She gets one or two days a month off. And she's like, what sort of money would you be paying me? Where is there any benefits for me, apart from more salary? Because I'd need an office. And he's like, hmm, true. He said, well, if I, if I got you somewhere to live with a couple of rooms, you could have one of the rooms as an office. And she's like, okay, yeah. You put internet in and buy me all the office kits and computer. And he said, okay. So let's say I get you somewhere to live and build you an office in where you're living. Would that fix that? And she's like, yeah. Two bedrooms so I can get my kid to come and stay whatever he said yeah not a problem and he's like okay and she said what sort of money would you pay me and he went well we'd start you off a bit lower see how you get on and uh, you can build your money up it'd be up to you how you do we'd have to obviously buy some more condos and figure out the best way of uh, which ones to buy said what sort of money would you think you'd like and she's like well you're just asking me to pick any number and she said if you want me to pick any number she said I'll have a million baht a day and he was like <laughs> yeah right <laughs> she, he says the what would an office what does what does Angela get as a salary and she's like she earns 30,000 baht a month salary for the, which she does seven days a week. Um, and then she gets commissions on top. He said, okay. He said, how about this? That condo down the road that I've got, which was what, five million baht? That's two bedrooms. And there's plenty of room in there. He said, what if I gave you that rent free? So we cover all the costs of it and all the bills, air cons, everything I'll pay for. In, in your salary, it's all covered, so it's we'll get computers in and all the rest of it. You can live there. And she's like, Really? And he said, Yeah, nice accommodation for staff. You'll be a manager. Like, okay. And he said, Shall we say 50,000 baht a month to start with to see how you get on? But we'll also give you money for expenses, as in fuel, telephone, you know, anything you spend on the business you get back. So you get a clear 50,000 baht a month, minus whatever the tax is in Thailand. And, and we'll get you a nice car, so we get a car that I like, can put my big arse in, uh, and you use the car. And she's like, oh my, what a dream. A Are you only not been together a week as friends? 50,000 baht a month salary, a car, a free condo, how could she turn it down? This is like not only winning the lottery for her, it's her life changed in a week. And it can happen here in Thailand. One of you rich guys could come over here and change a girl's life. And she's like, can I think about it for 24 hours? Very clever. And he's like, really? She said, yeah. He said, okay, no problem. 
He said, well, let's, let's get going and get you moved into this condo. We've got a bit of a party tonight. There you go. He's no closer to getting a woman and having kids. Or is he? Will Angela potentially be the woman? Maybe. See you next time. Bye for now.